Hi, welcome to the Tilta boot at NAB 2023. I'm Nick from Tilta. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new Nucleus Nano 2. So the new features on the Nano 2 is that it is now going to be able to control multiple motors similar to the Nucleus M. It's going to have increased camera control allowing you to adjust camera settings directly through the unit itself and we're going to have increased compatibility with the DJI Ronin series gimbals, essentially creating an all-in-one solution for assisting cameras, camera operators, anyone who's using gimbals or remote follow focus systems. So similar to the original, you do have a, a hand wheel. Um, as you can see, we have a pretty updated display that's going to give you a lot more information and, and different programmable settings. Um, but I, I think one of the biggest factors, especially for a system in this price range, is the fact that you can control multiple motors, something that was not possible on the original Nano. You have your main focus dial right here. You have a zoom rocker on the handle itself, meaning with just the wheel, you can control two. And then with this additional handle that you can connect, it gives you a third option for controlling a motor as well as control of a DJI Ronin. So this is going to be compatible with all of our wireless lens control systems, including Nucleus M, Nucleus Nano, and the Mirage, um, as well as the new Nano 2 motor. So what's going to be really great about this is that if you already have previous systems, if you're already running the M or the Nano, you're essentially able to upgrade as you go. If you just want the new hand wheel with the new functionality, it's going to be fully compatible with the motors. Essentially, the software is ran through the unit itself and not the motors, meaning any system you're already using, you can kind of swap this out and you'll be good to go with a bunch of new features and functionality. Um, but if you don't have a system already, the new Nucleus Nano motor is, is smaller, has better torque than the original, runs off USB-C, has passed through, allowing you to more easily link motors on the same camera. Yes, yeah, so uh, a lot more expanded than the original Nano as you, you can monitor three different wireless lens control motors through the screen. Um, you also have the option to save lens data, meaning you can calibrate a lens, save it, and then the system will know when you're using that lens. It saves a lot of time on set and also helps keep you organized. Um, and then you also have your camera information, which can connect through the motor via USB-C, and it allows you on compatible cameras to adjust settings like aperture, ISO, shutter, even some project settings, um, essentially meaning that if your camera is in a difficult to reach location, such as on a camera crane or a drone, you're able to adjust those settings on the fly on the same system you pull focus on. That is correct. Another pretty big function of the system is that previously the system was limited by the hard stops on the wheel itself. Um, now we still have those hard stops, but we have a switch on the side that allows you to rotate the system in full 360. And what that means is you can actually dial in the sensitivity of exactly how you need to pull without setting A and B points. Meaning if you need a faster sensitivity or if you need a slower sensitivity, you're able to really dial that in or use the system traditionally if you want your hard stops to align with the hard stops of your lens. Just giving some more flexibility, some more options for some of those tricky focus pulling situations. So uh, this is another pretty big change. This now runs on an internal battery. Uh, it charges via USB-C. It has PD quick charging protocol, um, but it does last for around seven hours of consistent use, meaning that for most narrative or commercial environments, this is going to last your full 12 hour day. Um, you are able to expand that power by connecting it to this handle, which runs off of Sony F570 batteries. That'll give you closer to 12 hours of continuous loose. So the, the basic kit is going to start at $299 US. It's going to include the hand unit and one motor. We're going to have a few different options with the extra handle, extra motors, probably in the range of $300 to $700 US. Um, but we're going to have all the options a la carte as well if you're looking to build a kind of perfect system. Uh, more information on the exact pricing and systems will be available soon, but the base kit will be that $299 US. And we're looking to start shipping early summer, maybe to midsummer. Um, that, that late June is probably a realistic estimate for when we'll start accepting orders. So keep an eye on the website, tilta.com. Uh, more information will be here soon.